men's department will host the second Sunday Men's Christmas Fellowship today at 6 p.m. in the multi-purpose room. All men should come out and celebrate the Christmas season. Elder Anthony M. Wilson would like to say thank you and Merry Christmas to all the men of Upper Room Church of God in Christ for all of your service and support throughout the year. The Upper Room Youth Department would also host a Christmas celebration today at 6 p.m. at the Upper Room Christian Academy. Generation Now is ready to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Everyone is encouraged to attend the 4th Consecration Union of 2015 to be held Monday, December 14th at 7.30 p.m. Our hosts are Pastor James and First Lady Goldie Parker of Pillar and Ground of Truth Ministries, Church of God in Christ. The church is located at 950 Mac Todd Road in Zebulon. Join us for Tuesday night service, December 15th at 7.30 in the Multipurpose Room. The speakers will be Minister D'Amico Morell, Minister Sherrod McCoy, Minister Robert Marable, and Elder Reggie Bowden. The Ladies of the King's Court is inviting high school juniors to attend the Meredith College Leadership Conference for High School Women. This is a free event to be held January 30th on the campus of Meredith College and registration is required. Space is limited and young ladies interested in attending should send an email to Evangelist Tamika Douglas at lkcladies at gmail.com. The Upper Room Church of God in Christ is proud to present the Year in Revival. Sunday, December 27th at 10.30 a.m. and 6 p.m. is Prophetess Janet Floyd. How many of us today with a gun at our head would have been said yes? But baby, I would have said yes while I was jumping on kicking him. Because baby, he would have dropped that gun. I wish somebody would say something. I wouldn't have just dropped my hand and said yes. I would have said, show nothing. <laughs> baby, I would have got that gun. I can't get no help up in here. Like wrong Christian, wrong Christian. It's a name is a wrong Christian. He would have failed and I would have too. Because somebody would have died that day. Tuesday the 29th and Wednesday the 30th at 730, both nights will feature prophetess Barbara Calloway. If you don't have a prayer life after I finish prophesying to you, that prophecy can't go nowhere because prayers ain't backing it up. But is there anybody in here that will say I've still got to pray? I'm the one that's got to pray my family out of this mess. I'm the one that's got to pray them out of this situation. Prayer still works. On New Year's Eve at 7.30 p.m., get ready for missionary Crystal Amanchukwu. But sometimes your sweet hour of prayer is interrupted with the baby crying. The car won't start. The office is calling. The children are sick. Your parents are sick. Death in the family. Something to do at the church. The cat won't meow. The dog won't bark. You know just life. But I'm so glad that God will ordain an opportunity to give us a prayer. Break. Along with Prophetess Barbie Calloway and Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. I'm one of you, but I'm not one of you. Same origin, same side of town, but I'm different. See, this, this thing now where saints are trying to win sinners, being like sinners, won't work. You got to go into the sinners and show the sinners that yes, we're the same, but I'm different. I'm different. Also scheduled to appear are the Upper Room Sanctuary Choir, musical guests, and more. All services will take place at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, located at 3300 Idlewood Village Drive in Raleigh. It's the Year in Revival, presented by the Upper Room Church of God in Christ.